Hey everybody, my name is Ben Dion. This semester, Bruno Tabarani and I began developing a curriculum for a first year undergraduate course that would act as an introduction to biomimicry with the goal of getting people excited enough that they would want to continue learning about biomimicry throughout the rest of their college career and into their professional career. When we first started building the curriculum, we had the idea of trying to take all the important information that we had learned throughout our master's program and trying to condense it into a single semester course. But after we talked to Michelle, we kind of realized that that's too much information for a first year undergraduate student to fully comprehend. And so we were kind of back to the drawing board. This is when Michelle suggested that we try to use a more modular approach to building this curriculum, where we could build individual modules that could then be brought together and create a full semester course. And by using this modular approach, it would help us create clear learning objectives for the students within each module, ensuring that the correct information was taught and understood. And Bruno and I kind of agreed that this is probably a better way for us to approach developing this curriculum, and that's when we started working on Module 1. So Bruno and I designed Module 1 to act as a standalone course that could be used almost like a TED Talk. We wanted to try and get people excited about biomimicry and the possibilities that it can unlock. And so by building it in the style of a TED Talk, we could use it for various things, like for guest speaker appearances or as a first class period within a full semester long course. So to begin the module, we started by putting together an icebreaker that would allow students to, to start thinking about how organisms can help us solve human challenges. And then we built a side deck that introduced students to some of the more well-known biomimicry case studies out there in the world today and showing how impactful biomimicry can be. So once we showed the impact that biomimicry can have, we dug a little bit deeper into the definition of biomimicry and how it differs from other design approaches that are used out in the real world today. So after Bruno and I completed Module 1, we brought it back to Michelle and to Thomas Baumeister and we asked them for some feedback. They provided us with a lot of really good suggestions which we then incorporated into the module. And once we all felt comfortable with where Module 1 was at, Bruno and I began working on Module 2. In Module 2, we introduce students to Earth's operating conditions and provide a quick overview of life's principles, with the intention of diving deeper into each life's principle in the future modules. Module 3 expands on two of life's principles, be locally attuned and responsive, and adapt to changing conditions. For each life's principle, we provide examples of where to find them in nature, and we share some potential areas where human designs may benefit from incorporating these life's principles. At the end of the semester, these three modules were all we were able to complete, given the time constraints. We do plan on continuing to build more modules after this class is complete, and we hope to eventually teach these courses at our local universities. It's been a really great learning experience for us, and we have a new appreciation for how much work it takes to develop a solid curriculum for a college course. We cannot thank Michelle Failer and Thomas Bollmeister enough for the guidance they have provided us with throughout the semester. Without them, these modules would not have turned out as well as they did. We really couldn't have asked for a better support committee. So thank you again. We really appreciate it. Well, that's all that we have. So thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed learning more about our project. Take care.